right. Hmm. Everybody's Golf has been a signature franchise for PlayStation since the beginning among the ranks of Wipeout, Twisted Metal, and Gran Turismo. Ever since its first release in 1997 as Hot Shots Golf in North America, the series was pivotal for making a golf game that is easy to play, but difficult to master. With varied courses and a cast of colorful characters, it led the charge for fun, welcoming golf games, and is literally the series that made Mario Golf what it is today as well as numerous ripoffs that tried to capitalize on the success of Hot Shots Golf. But any amount of success eventually fades, and is that what's happened today, or is there more to the story? Is this the end of everybody's golf? In 1997, Sony published the start to their exclusive series Hot Shots Golf. This is what the series is mostly known by in North America, while the rest of the world knew it as everybody's golf. Thanks to its simplistic controls, even the most casual gamer could easily pick up the controller and use a three-click shot system without issue. While not revolutionary, it did help to push this common control scheme for future Hot Shots Golf games, as well as other golfing titles. This entry would be the first and only main entry developed by a different studio throughout its run. Camelot Software Planning may be more known for developing Mario Sports titles for Nintendo these days, but they were the pioneers of this arcade-like golfing craze and would end up using the exact same engine used to develop the first Hot Shots Golf game to develop Mario Golf on the Nintendo 64 in 1999. From the 1999 sequel Hot Shots Golf 2 on up, Clapham's would have a hand in developing every sequel on PlayStation's main and handheld consoles. The series would see enough success to have at least one entry per console, but most typically had two sequels per console. In total, Clapham's developed 13 titles in the Hot Shots slash Everybody series, including two tennis games and a collection of minigame spin-offs. In 2017, the series would take its biggest risk yet and make a huge shift in its presentation. A reinvention, you could say. While every region outside of North America titled the game Everybody's Golf, this new entry on the PlayStation 4 would rebrand it as Everybody's Golf, finally matching the rest of the world while also signifying this big change. Everybody's Golf would push the series into new territory. Players now create their own characters, and could customize almost every aspect. PlayStation characters were absent as guest stars, which were a staple in most entries of the series, and were always a nice surprise to see. And now various limited time crossovers happened in the form of online tournaments that took place from time to time, such as one celebrating 30 years of Final Fantasy. One of the biggest changes previously on scene were open courses, but these were only available if you played in open lobbies online, where players could now freely explore in drivable golf carts, whenever and almost wherever they were. And if you aren't golfing, catching a variety of fish could occupy you in the meantime. It truly was the start of a franchise evolving, despite some flaws. And with the PlayStation VR, the series would see a new release in 2019 with Everybody's Golf VR. Rather than being an altered version of the 2017 game, it took a different approach with new courses, new graphics, and a first-person perspective. Unlike previous Everybody's Golf entries, this one is probably one of the more difficult titles and less welcoming due to the VR headset, and it has the option of either a Move controller or a DualShock 4 controller. Which brings us to today. So far, a new Everybody's Golf title has not been announced for the PlayStation 5, and while we're still early in the next generation to truly determine if one will come out, there are numerous roadblocks that seem to signal the end of the franchise. The first one being the online server shutdown for Everybody's Golf on the PlayStation 4, to clarify, this doesn't apply to the 2019 Everybody's Golf VR game, which doesn't have online features, only the 2017 release. Servers are expected to shut down on September 30th, 2022. This means a few trophies will be unattainable after this date, open courses will no longer be accessible, which limits a highly advertised feature, and of course some exclusive modes can no longer be played online. It isn't surprising to see the servers for this game go down. It really isn't a game high on Sony's list, but with it being backwards compatible on the PlayStation 5, the game does still have some life to it. Next, in 2021, Clapham's released their first game outside of Sony's umbrella that isn't on a PlayStation system, and shockingly, it isn't a huge departure from their previous work either. Clapham's Golf is a spiritual successor to Everybody's Golf that's currently available to play on the Apple Arcade. The game literally has the aesthetic of their previous work, from the varied courses, the pre-made fun and wacky characters, and the colorful words that pop on screen with every action you do. If it wasn't called Clap Hands Golf, 
you'd probably be fooled into thinking that it was a new Everybody's Golf game, but with this independent entry, this feels like some kind of sign that Clap Hands has moved on. Never have they released a game on their own before. Does this mean that it isn't possible for them to develop another Everybody's Golf with Sony's approval in the future? They sure could. But by moving on to develop a familiar game, it feels like a departure from something they've nurtured for years onto something similar after some kind of falling out. And Clap Hands Golf continues to be updated today. And finally, the gaming landscape is always changing. What was popular a decade ago isn't really so much anymore. These days, live service free to play games seem to be winning. Now, Everybody's Golf does have the makings to participate in this, but when you look at the current offerings of free to play games, you'll notice a lot of arena like battle royale games that typically involve first person or third person shooting mechanics. And with Sony slimming down their release titles as opposed to a decade ago when you would see a huge variety of genres, they're now making sure they're producing top quality AAA titles that almost exceed in their review scores as we've learned through the difficulties surrounding Sony and a cancelled Days Gone sequel. So this pushes a title like Everybody's Golf out of the picture. The series isn't really Sony's top priority unlike Horizon, The Last of Us, Uncharted, or Ghost of Tsushima. Those titles bring in a large amount of people, get people talking to social media, as well as bring in more money, and they are expanding to other mediums like movies and television shows to grow that fan base. Which is why after all those reasons, I don't see Everybody's Golf making a return. It could happen and I would be very, very surprised if it did, and chances are an Everybody's Golf VR sequel on the upcoming PlayStation VR 2 is a lot more likely, but I never hear anyone talk about the original Everybody's Golf VR game. I really hope to see a PlayStation 5 release of Everybody's Golf. I want to see Sony continue a streak of having an Everybody's Golf game on every single console and handheld they've had since the original PlayStation. Why stop that now? I can just imagine how beautiful each course would be with the lush detail and I can imagine PlayStation characters like Jin from Ghost of Tsushima and Aloy from Horizon hitting the green as guest characters and then the extremely fast load times thanks to the SSD would make for an incredible game. But without a word of the series officially being put on ice, it's hard not to wonder if there's even a future for it on PlayStation. So tell me, do you think it's the end for everybody's golf as we know it? Or do you believe we'll see an entry on the PlayStation 5 either as a standard game or a PSVR 2 title? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and subscribe for future content. Thank you so so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video.